so all right believe it or not I found a way out of this cave um I think I found a way out but um well we'll see so yeah if, if you just started don't worry you're not missing anything I'm just gonna try and get to the part where I think the exit is um, if I can find it I don't have time for these low lives now um, I believe it's up towards the top yes I think I'm going the right way uh, upper hand might as well I don't like I don't like these green insects because they're they're really buff. Not that strong, but you know. Okay. Uh, I'll I'll tell you all when I get to the part where I think the exit is. It, it's not far from here. I believe it's make a left at this area and then you go down did I get those mushrooms? I, I, who, I don't need mushrooms at this one okay so hold on let, let me defeat this wannabe first okay there alright so here here's the area that I missed uh, it was like towards the top corner and I never thought to go this way before, so um, I've never been through this hole before, so let's see where it takes us. Alright, so here we are at some new area. And this this is going to be new for everyone here. Okay, so yeah, it takes us to this place. I think this will let us get out. I hope it'll let me get out. Oh, there's more story ahead. Everyone likes that, right? Okay. More anime RPG. Yep. Welcome, Jeff123 ABC. We're just trying to get out of this cave right now. It's, it's not hard. I already found the correct way to go. Not gonna be stuck here for another. Oh, jeez, I got poison. Oh. More insect killing. Yes, that's 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 what's happening. Anyway, I found the way through this cave. And here, here we got story part seven. Read. Um. Yeah, sure. I don't even remember what happened. Let's see. If he fell and was about to kill by s or silence, what if in order to find survive he invoked a demonization instinct latent in the people of this area that the demon swipes at her and she blocks Oh okay, so they're fighting or something. I don't quite remember the backstory for this. The demon picks up the sword and kicked her and aims it. He he swings the sword down at her but she stops it between her palms. He cuts her palms and the blood runs down the sword until it burns the demon's hands. He drops the sword and Hanyu retrieves it, slicing the demon diagonally across the chest. The pure blood's blood that was on the sword burns his wound. Hanyu realizes that this demon is the pure blood she fought all those years ago. A very small number of pure bloods can live on as a ghost after they die in like mixed bloods. They can possess humans, I guess. Stop being a pure blood became a demon and more powerful than a mixed blood. Honey demands why he possessed her beloved boyfriend, and for that matter, why a pure blood even demonized like a mixed blood in the first place. And then let's see what the explanation is. He wanted an opponent who was a better match for his power, other pure bloods, but he was cut down before he reached his full power, so he searched for a host. And three years later, he found the host that would cause her the most suffering, her boyfriend. The demon tells her that he would just abandon his body and possess another. This sounds like something out. This sounds like the plot to, uh,. Lunar Legend Tsukihime. <laughs> like, really similar. <laughs> Not gonna go into detail on that. Replaced host with. <laughs> well, this guy's a ho. <laughs> okay, so. To find out something preventing him from leaving the body. I think she hears her boyfriend's voice. She tells her boyfriend she loved him and drives her sword into a demon's body. They found a great number of bandit bodies, Riku's body, and the tattered remains of a Miko outfit. The villagers remember how they had suspected that the wife of the priest was a demon. 
I realized the Furudes had lost their lives to the bandits in trying to expose the real demon and clear their names. Okay. So basically the demon possessed her boyfriend to make her suffer, you know. Sorry for breaking out so much. I'm likely really getting on your nerves, but I see that you're really just trying to help me. You're a good person, Xion. You have to be more optimistic. You always think the worst, then you don't. You always think the worst, then you only let bad things happen. Well, it seems only bad things happen to me. I don't know what to do. Well, meeting you here, meeting you was not one of them. I think things are going to be getting better now. Are you not going to look at me? Are you chuckling? There's some spiders in your hair from that last web we passed. You going into serious mode right now is just so hilarious. Yes, Natsumi, shut up. I <laughs> mean, no, you're cool. Ah! We're almost near the exit. I can, I can feel it. And I just hope there's no boss guarding it or something. I, I don't like having to fight. Oh wow, more story. Yes, everyone wants this. Uh, tailed the, the eighth part. The villagers knew it was their fault, and they raised Uka as the daughter of the protectors of the village. Han Yu could only watch. After the battle, she lost almost all her ability to remain in a materialized state. Uka grew up and married, and only Uka could see Han Yu. One day, a disease was ravaging the village, and Uka asked Han Yu to save the villagers. Han Yu refuses because it's against the law to use. Well, I don't even know what Ryun technology is. Oka demands to know what's wrong with helping people, and Hanyu replied that Oka doesn't understand what saving people really means. Hanyu says that yes, she can heal everyone in the village, but what about the fields? The fields are filled with the bodies of people that died from the disease, and much of the village's water and soil is contaminated, so they will most likely have a poor harvest. Hanyu asks Oka what she plans to do about this food shortage. Hanyu can probably help with that, but what's going to happen with neighboring towns also suffering from illness and hunger here that our village has food? They will come seeking the food, but the villagers won't have enough to share and, the, and blood might be shed. Han Yu says the vi problem won't be solved by just healing the villagers. Oh, this is getting all metaphysical or something. Uka's husband has caught the illness and Uka had no choice. She pleads with Han Yu to save her husband. She apologizes to Han Yu for being naive about saving the village. What if I said, I don't care about the plot and just want to get <laughs> I, I need more plot stuff. So. Well, if, if the next boss kicks my butt, then you will, you will get what you want. <laughs> Han Yu tells Uka she hasn't made medicine in a while, so she might accidentally, accidentally make too much and ask Uka to make use of the extra meds. Uka also gives remaining meds to the villagers after curing her husband, saying that Oishiro-sama stood by her pillow and told her how to make it. The villagers were desperate, so they took the medicine and quickly recovered. They called Uka the reincarnation of Oishiro-sama and called her medicine demon medicine. Sick people from outside also came for medicine and they gave Uka food and living supplies. Han Yu gets to the shrine after making more medicine and finds a group of villagers holding weapons and Uka is tied up hanging from a tree. Oh. Oh, okay, so the villagers decide to, decide to hang out with her. They can still make a killing off the medicine if they were given the recipe. They said that they kill Uka's husband and will kill her two children next. Wow, this is, this is some very great people here. Han Yu mat materializes and begins slaughtering the villagers. Ooh, a sign! 72 hours. Oh, I want to die. There's no reason. <laughs> the, the village is in flames. <laughs> also, okay, so we we j we gave the medicines to these villagers, and and then the villagers, and now we are we're killing them. <laughs> there are claws. She says that someone's body turns around. Oka standing there with a sword. Han Yu asks if she's okay and runs up to her, but Oka swings her sword. Han Yu is shocked. Oh, oh. Is this is all just betrayal after betrayal. Uka cuts her own palm in the sword and lets her blood flow. Then she attacks and cuts her claws off at the base. Uka says that Han Yu told her that she's weak to the blood of her brother and attacks again. What kind of friends are these? Not very good friends, aren't they? And she cuts her across the chest. Han Yu asks Uka why she's doing this. Uka tells Han Yu that humans and demons can't live together. Han Yu asks Uka what why Uka is defending the villagers who deceived her. Hanyu says that humans are the lowest, vilest organisms like garbage. Uka starts crying and says that Hanyu is right, but Uka also says one one of those lowest, vile, but that Uka is also one of those lowest, vilest organisms. She asks Hanyu if she's garbage and calls Hanyu mother. Uka says it's her own fault that this tragedy happened because she made Hanyu do what she wanted. She says she will sacrifice her life to protect the village. She tells Hanyu to come at her and calls her a monster. Wow, so much for being friends. Hanyu tells Oka that Oka is no longer her friend, let alone her daughter. She's just another enemy. 
Unka says goodbye and runs her through with the sword. Unka became an object of reverence as the savior who saved the village from the demon. The Rio was the Ryuo was cons consecrated the swamp. The belief in the Oshiro became stronger. I wonder where this is going. Actually, I'm I'm, I'm more wondering where I'm going because hopefully at the end of this Oh, there's something in here with us. Cool. Hey, Jeff. Here, here's your wish granted. We got, we got some hands that grab and hands that snatch. I'm gonna get grope here. Uh. Oh, do I have anything good here? Night happy. Do I have anything? Oh, just attack, I guess. I want to meet this giant guy. Boss takes that to his hat off. Let us actually kill the other train, you keep that. Okay. Hey, I don't, I don't want all murders in here, but it looks like these hands aren't gonna be uh, negotiating anytime soon. Try to shock me. Actually, no, um, Shion actually has uh, the, the taser combo move, and we're gonna use that every turn now. And Heine's gonna just heal, I guess. Oh wow, what kind of boss is this? A uh, false alarm. That was not a boss. That was just too too weak little hand. Oh no! Oh, it's a it's a bunch of. What is this? Is this the boss? Oh. Okay. Yeah. This is definitely some kind of boss. Yeah. Our, our taser combo is gonna stun lock her for sure. He won't even stand a. He won't even stand a chance. This will be hilarious, watch. Hmm, one, two, triple combo. You know, I, I don't even think this is going to be a fair fight. What is that? Oh, what? What kind of damage was that? Did she just do 300 damage? Oh no, I'm getting I'm getting touched in the wrong way. Uh I guess I should heal that too. I don't think she has a lot of heal. One, two. Uh how do I cure that ice? thingy, whatever it is. I don't know. Oh, nice crit. Alright. Yeah, shove off, boss. I, I get to keep the hat. And my lives as well, yes. You ain't getting nothing. Street fragment. Mushroom. I bet this is where I get the key for that blue chest. Ritual knife. I do not know if I really trust you around knives. What, I'm good with knives. I make the cutest little rabbits with apples. Uh, among other things. Old bottles. What's that? Someone was deciphering the scroll. There existed two jewels of a cord or magatama which can possess the bodies of people and lead them to the gates of pandemonium. One of which is red and the other is white. Legend says that the person who has the red will be attracted to whomever, whomever has the white one. I'm sure we'll find out more about that later. Old root, yes, yes, okay. Old bones. I found this mine while hiking. I was looking for the shrine that was hidden in these mountains. Though I have fresh water from the well and all you can eat bugs, I do not want to resort myself to that. They say that they said the the priest had a way from this shrine to town, but after searching the tunnels for days, I have to assume it had collapsed as well. I saw a ghost of a girl by the shrine, but it must be a hallucination. I swear she keeps leading me to her just to disappear. Okay, so what's in this box? <gasps> Another secret passage. Leave? Oh, I can leave now? Please let me leave. Oh my gosh, the outside, about time. I've stuck down this cave for hours, and now I'm finally out. Unbelievable. 
Uh, can, can you taste that pure air? If we keep heading this way, we will hit the road back to town. Yes, I want to go back to town. I'm in my socks. I do not know how much more walking I can do. I just want to go home. Oh! Wow. I guess we're not going home. Going back to the dungeons. My scales saw you leaving the mountain. It was easy enough to cut you off before the road. The dungeons are stuffy. I decided to go for a little walk. Enough! I decided to end your walking days. I will send you piece by piece to your sister, starting with your feet. So in essence, your big pl new plan is to send smelly feet to my sister? You're going to get us killed. I have not even had my first kiss yet. What, do you have a plan? Xion, do I have something on my face? You're getting a little too close. Okay, yeah, this will work. I'm, I'm sure of it. Oh, that was just a distraction, surprisingly. Impossible! You're supposed to be dead! Our deaths were greatly exaggerated. We are all alive. This was a, all a ploy to weed out the usurper. We did not think you would have gone after our other daughter. Sorry, Xian, to get you involved. This was all for your safety. I didn't feel very safe. Your distraction, Xion, is on a whole other level. <laughs> Mifune, Oreo wanted me to pass on the message that your services are no longer needed. I was doing this in the best interest of the Sonozaki family. I was just joking about cutting up your daughter. How about you go with Kasai and tell some more jokes? I'm sure Kasai would be happy to hear them all. <clears throat> you girls can go to the car. We'll be with you in a little while. Alright, he's been dealt with. I'm so mad at my mother right now, but looks like everything going back to normal. We will drop you off and I will get shipped away again to St. Lucia Academy. You stole my first kiss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, she stole it, like, just like that. <laughs> Calm down, does not count between girls. You can still save it for that boy you like. Really now? I want to save. Well, they will be back soon. Where do you want to be dropped off? Uh, I should probably look around for chess. What's up, draw from the car? Read? Sure. Article excerpt. Holding a knife means intent to kill, but a baseball bat, shovel, or broom can be an efficient weapon and is legal to walk around with. Just bring a baseball glove for the bat. Yeah, they really like to talk about uh, lethal murder weapons that are out in these parts. Alright, so where am I going? Do I go home or go downtown? I'm just gonna go home. I'd like to go home in the Kino Mia. When they reached Natsumi's house, they found out her family had been killed. Refusing to hand over Natsumi for questioning by the police, the Sonozaki family took her back to Hinamizawa. Okay, so we're not going home. So you won't let us talk to the girl? She's still recovering. Her testimony is in those papers. You believe that this Mifune character had her family killed to cover for the kidnappings. Mifune works for your family. Well, as you said earlier, he used to. Why not just tell her what we found? The well, problem with this testimony is that the body of the grandmother died the day before. From the time neighbors said that they last saw her and by the state of the body, she was hacked apart and ditched by the highway the day before the kidnappings even happened. Didn't you say yourself that you came to Natsumi's house at random? Maybe Natsumi's memories are just messed up. It must have been quite it has been quite a shock. If we could just talk to the girl. Uh, what kind of portrait is that? Oishi, I think that was a sign that no means no. We'll pick this up then tomorrow. That's some that's some glower power you have there. Yeah, don't worry, we will keep your friend from the police. This new evidence is disturbing. Maybe you should check on that soon. Where is she? Are you still keeping with this testimony? We only want to find the true culprits. Locked. Oh, oh, there's a chest over there. 
Hey, hey, hey. Oh, two chests. I didn't even see the other one. What? Steroids? Did I find steroids? Or steroids? Why am I so bad at finding items? Steroids, steroids, I don't see it. Whatever. Cure the band aid. Okay, so if I go up to the roof, is there gonna be another three chests waiting for me? Oh, she's up there. Alright, let's talk to her. Oh, hi. I was falling out sleep up here. I can't sleep at night. I have bad dreams. They gave me medicine for it, but it doesn't work. Not to me. Wh what? Why the, ser Why the serious face? <laughs> Why so serious? You already... T why the serious face? You've been taken back to the private school already. It's not, it's not, it is not that. Why don't we run away together? We can start over somewhere. You do not have to go back to that school. What about Toto, the boy you like? I found someone else to like, although their drawings are not as nice as Toto's. Someone was saying that you probably went through enough pain and suffering all at once to last a lifetime. All, all stuck in that cave? Yeah, I'm sure that's enough suffering for one lifetime. That you're completely ex exhausted mentally and physically, so the time you're spending resting right now is probably necessary and important to help your mind and heart recover energy. This might be selfish of me. I'm going to hurt you out of my own selfishness. I want you to be in the same world as me. Is this a confession? What's wrong, Xion? Did something happen? Well, your grandmother was killed, Natsumi. Xion, I don't want to talk about it. I do not want to remember. They told me that your grandmother died the day before all this happened. Dun -dun -dun. It wasn't my fault. Listen, do it like this. Bow twice, clap twice, bow once. Now, you try. Now pass. I don't like this very much. Please, you have to. I'm your grandmother. I'm begging you. Grandmother hurts. Let me go. Worship with your grandmother. Oh, yes, Shiro's curse. My strike you too. Come now. You're a good girl. I'm scared. I'm scared. I only pushed grandma a little bit, but she she fell over dead because I just shoved her a little bit. Grandma's not with us anymore. There's no one to talk to. There's no one to talk about Oyashiro anymore, and no one to put up weird charms on the house. Now everything will be just like before she came. Oh right, I have to hide her so that no one will find her. Cut her up into little pieces and hide her neatly away. It's okay. I know we can make it work. I mean, we're family. Mom, Dad. Here, you'll help me, right? Natsumi, let's go to the police. I just wanted to be happy. I thought we were a family. I thought we all felt the same. I didn't want to lose the place where I belong. I did not want anyone to know. I did not want people to hate me. And so she decided to do stuff that... Well, anyway, you can imagine. You're kidding, right? How can you talk about belonging after killing someone? Xion? You think there was a homicidal maniac so close by- <laughs> Look who's talking! <laughs> what were you planning to do after you tricked us? Were you going to kill us? No, no! Like you did your own family? I would never do that. I didn't want anyone to know, anyone to see, I didn't want anyone to hate me. Natsumi, Natsumi, look at me! There's no one there, I can't hear anything. Shion, do you hate me? You do hate me. That's not true. I want to protect you. If we only met sooner, none of this would have happened. How sooner was that? What's going on here? Do you know the person I like? No, the person I love right now is you, Shion. Whoa, who, who's stabbing who here? Maybe next time I'll teach you how to do macaroni art, Natsumi. Just you, I promise. Because I love you too, Natsumi. I'll always be by your side. Always. Shion? Who, who killed who there? I couldn't tell. Of 
probably better if I didn't know. <laughs> okay, now. Alright, so I guess we'll do this one next. So this is Daybreak Chapter Part 2. Uh, I said very hard. But I'm sure I'm ready for it. So, um, in Part 1, Rena ate the red thingy. And we beat up a photographer, and now we're looking for Rena and whoever has the white thingy. That's basically what happened. This is not funny anymore. After all, if Jiro really insisted, I would wear the nurse uniform. Ah, uh, so embarrassing. But if he, if he really insisted... What? Were you listening? No, I was not. Well then, what's the matter? I, um, you see... What is it? My true love is you, Mio! Well, oh, oh, great. I, I guess I guess we're playing a Yuri game now. Maybe if you push against me like that. I have always been looking for you. Uh, if only I could call you big sister. I'll become your little sister. And every morning you'll fix my crooked ribbon for me. I'm grateful for the thoughts, but I do not really swing that way. <laughs> I understand you, but how can you not stand to look at men as equals, but just as animals? And there's no way an animal and a human could ever understand each other. But we are different. I want to investigate the Knight of Wan Nagashi with you. I want to be the Wan Nagashi sacrifice with you. Oh, that's a great joke. <laughs> uh, please excuse Rena. Right now she's not feeling well, so... What do you mean? So what she's saying is has nothing to do with her actual feelings. Silence, mongrels. Rena, I have figured it out. While I was with Jiro-san, there was always something missing. And because of you, I have finally come to understand. Neo-san! Wait a second, no body contact allowed here. <laughs> wow, okay, uh... Well, we were too late! Well, Renas, shall we go and harness oishiro sama's curse? Then we can be together for eternity. Ah, uh, Mio-san, can I call you big sister? Yeah, but only you. Thank you so much! At this rate, the disaster will strike by tomorrow evening. <laughs> You should get the Malkatama back as soon as possible. White stone you're holding, it was Rika's, please return it. Oh, this is Rika's? Yes, it's one of the Furude Shrine's treasures. You idiot, if you tell that to Takano-san, she will keep it. The Furude Shrine's treasure? After hearing that, there is no way you'll get it back that easily. It's time to go and research this new toy nice and slowly. Wait, give it back! No, oh, that would not do. I will not en let anybody get close to Mio-san. Rena, stand aside! Do I have to fight her again? <laughs> what?! No, no, there's no way I can beat them <laughs> one on four. You've got to be joking. Uh, I wonder if this works. Oh, I blinded three of them. Oh my gosh. Uh, what's my best move here? This is this is one on four. I'm I'm not sure. Oh wow, I got stunned. Okay. Oh, I'm getting. Sh oh wow, Mion can do 200. That's disgusting. And I'm silent, so. Let's see if I can. What am I supposed to do here? Maybe I have an item that can ex that can blast them up or something like like this bomb. Uh. Let's drink the juice, I guess. Oh no, Rika's healing. Okay. Oh, can I kill at least one of them? It, it would really help. Oh my god. 
see that move, you greatly underestimate me. I saw this whole thing already. <laughs> okay, Mia needs to put that gun away, like forever. Okay, where would I cure? Where where can I cure myself? Uh, don't I have a bento? Gosh, I really, I really think I should heal. Wait, I think I have eye drops, right? Oh, that's bad. Oh no, I got stunned. What? Oh, this key keeps sucking my mana. That is. Ow, oh, I'm. I have to use a mana potion. What? They all have heals! Uh. Oh, wow. I, I was wasting items. I could have used this. That was pointless. Wow, wow, wow. This this is this is like bullying or something. Oh my god, they have so much sun. Oh wow. Do I have a bento? I know I have bentos here, I do. Uh, do I have some kind of cure? It stores all SP and some MP and cures. Yes, I want this. Oh, if my turn comes. Oh, I'm still stunned. Rika, stop. See, I wanna... I can't even kill Rika first because Mion has guns. I have to focus on Mion. And now I'm dying. Stunned again. I think like three of them have a stunning move. Oh, wow. Yeah, Mion definitely has the worst moves. What? I can't use this. I can't use remove debuff if I can't use it. Uh. Do you have an item that cures silence? I thought I bought a bunch of um. Juices or something. Pop, yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, Mion's using her gun again. I'm still blind though. Oh, oh, good. The blind affected that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they keep healing each other. Oh wow. Am I supposed to win this? I'm, I'm probably supposed to win this, so... Oh, 
Oh, not the silence again. Oh, good, I didn't get silenced. I got blinded again. Ah! Oh. See that move? You greatly underestimate me. I saw this whole thing already. <laughs> oh my god. What? This doesn't remove the blind? I guess it doesn't. That bites. Uh, I use eye drop. I don't. I don't think I want to use eye drop, but I don't have any more mana, so I, I, I guess I should get my mana up. Uh, what do I have that cute mana? Man, I don't think that's gonna be good enough. Uh, I don't know. Uh, seventy-five HP. Which of these? All this. Oh, that did not give me a lot of mana. Okay, my blind is gone, so I can start attacking now. No, don't heal! <laughs> wow, nice crit though. Maybe we can kill her. Oh no, not the fireworks. Oh, that's, that's bad. Oh, if Neon shoots me, I probably die. <laughs> 